What is up dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts guys. Today we've got some more things, some more news. It's kind of just coming all at once. The new year is kind of always like that for you at least what I've learned from last year and the year before. They seem pretty busy news wise. But today we have Legendary Duels Season 2 full reveals. They just kind of like gave us, they, they announced like five cards that were coming in set and then just all of it at once. It's right around the corner. I think it comes out like next week or something. Like we're getting it very soon. Um, but I want to go through it just because there's a lot of really good reprints. I mean, it's it's just take a, like two legendary duels combined and just take all the biggest cards from those, and they're all getting a reprint. It's mainly what the set's going to be about. But there's also two new cards that we'll throw in there as well at the end that we'll talk about. So. Um, I'm kind of not really going to talk about much except for the cards I think are actual good reprints. I might miss a card here or there because I didn't go through every single card on the market to see what price they were. But we're going to go through the ones that I think are important. So starting off with the Blue Eyes stuff, we have Blue Eyes Alternative, another reprint. Good. You know, we have four printing, well technically three real ones, but uh, you know, the lowest one's still $12. So for if you want to just play a deck that's not even good in Blue Eyes, uh, hopefully this will help lower the price there. You've also got Sage with Eyes of Blue. Again, three printings. Lowest copy is still like eight fifty on the market. Like that's crazy. Still sitting around ten, eleven bucks for that. That's usually a three of. You've got uh, Blue Eyes Solid Dragon. This is one of the weird new support cards from like last year. I think it's last year. Maybe it was. I want it. Uh, maybe not twenty twenty. It might have been twenty nineteen, but. Um, it only has one printing, still sitting around $10 because it's a Blue Eyes card. Hopefully that'll bring down the price a little bit. Same thing with Blue Eyes Spear Dragon. Two printings, cheapest one, still 7 bucks. Hopefully this will bring that down. Next up, Bingo Machine Go. Now, I remember this was a huge card. A lot of people thought this was a crazy search card for uh, for Blue Eyes when it when it came out. Um, nothing really happened with Blue Eyes, but it's still because it's Blue Eyes support sits around like 30 bucks. So yeah, that's a big one. Definitely a much needed reprint. Same thing with Ultimate Creature of Creation. Um, or uh, Creature of Destruction, not Creation, sorry. Um, one printing, 16, 17 bucks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, still sitting way, way up there. So, definitely needs to come down. Rage with Eyes of Blue. This is not a, as big a reprint, but still, like, you know, the first, first, uh, near mint first edition is like still 533 and then goes immediately up to like six bucks and, and over that. So, still a car that's like, okay, if you want to play it, you know, a reprint would be very nice. So, that's it for all the blue eyes stuff. A lot of blue eyes cards are just need some reprints. I mean, imagine the players out there that aren't just trying to play max rarity blue eyes. I know a lot of people are that like the nostalgia and they want the sexiest blue eyes deck out there, but I think there are also people that are just anime lovers and they just like, I want to play blue eyes to the best it can be but it's so damn expensive just because people are collectors about it hopefully these reprints will help with that and most of this stuff right cyber Dag dragon nastra there was actually a slightly more competitive one here because we have seen cyber dragons kind of come in and out of competitive formats as either a rogue deck or we saw orcus cyber dragon be a really good contender a little while back so nastra a nice card it's only had one printing so nice to see it going down here um for sure coming down to like nine bucks and, and then some hopefully um, next up we have Cyber Attorney Dragon. This card's not particularly good, but it's Cyber Dragon, so you know they're going to be expansive. So this card's sitting around 12 13 bucks. Hopefully this will go down as well with the new printing. Cyber Lord Fusion. This card is huge getting a reprint. I remember when I went to just like build Cyber Dragons and I had every single card except for Cyber Lord Fusion. I went to pick it up for my locals. They were like 17 bucks. And I was like, what? Huh? I bought it because I was going to play them that day at the at the tournament that was going on locally, um, and I wasn't thrilled about it, but I had to do it, right? So, um, yeah, Cyberload Fusion, 23 bucks right now. It's crazy. Uh, so hopefully that reprint will definitely help out there. Um, next up, we have some Blackwing stuff. Simoon the Poison Wind, 15 bucks, man. I just made a Blackwing deck profile. Didn't even realize this card was still this expensive. $15. That's a three of, in my opinion. Automatic three of. Um, you also have Blackwing Full Armor Master, 16, 17 bucks. That's at least a one of. Some people like two. I only like one, so at least for the budget players, it's nice. But hopefully, this reprint will help him as well. Um, then we move to some Galaxy stuff. We've got Photon Dragon. I mean, this is a classic Photon card, but um, kind of weird, man. It has five printing, and the cheapest one is still like three fifty, four bucks. So, I mean, I don't know how much this will help, but maybe it could bring it down a little bit. We even have a common. The common's still like four or five bucks. That's crazy. 
All right, cool. Uh, Photon Orbital. I'm actually really excited for this card though because I do uh, build ABC. I do go back to ABC every once in a while and mess around with them. This is a really cool card for them because you can use like your equip cards to like equip Orbital to something, um, like Union Carrier specifically. I think maybe the only one actually because it's not a Union exactly, but you can equip with Union Carrier and then just like uh, detach himself or whatever he does. He sends himself, I think, to just search a. Um, one of the Galaxy Soldiers, and then get yourself into an Infinity Play, or just extend in general. So, really cool there. Just a nice card, just cool one up for something like ABC, or even even better, in pure Galaxies if you want. But 43 bucks is way too much, so definitely happy this card's going to get the reprint. Uh, oh, that's right. We'll come back to that. <laughs> um, Harpy's next. Harpy Channeler. Four printings. Cheapest copy still, like, 10 bucks. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Harpies, Harpies fly, man, on the market. Uh, speaking of which, Perfumer, 23. Market price is 27 on this card. Like, that's insane. So, hopefully this will make them much more budget. I mean, I picked her up very early when she was only, like, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe? I can't even remember exactly how much she, were, she was at the time. But, 25 now? <sighs> Bruh. That needs to come down. I mean, this card is just Stratos for the archetype. Definitely needs to come down for sure. Oracle even. This is maybe a one of in most builds, like $5. Bro, bring this down. Nice reprint there. We've got a Luring Mirror Split. Not a crazy card. Um, uh, it has like a, you know, usually it's around two to three bucks, but the Lost Art promo is like five bucks. Uh, so maybe this will come down to even a little bit more. Anything you can save on a deck like this is, is gonna be welcome because Man, these these like legacy decks can get way expensive. We also have Harpy's Feather Rest. The Lost Art version's like ten bucks. Uh, the original printing is still like two to four bucks, somewhere in that range. Um, so that's nice to see. Get that down as well. Just all of them. Um, Garden Rose Maiden. It actually was listed on Yu-Gi-Oh organization as Garden Rose Dragon. I was like, that's not a thing. It sounds awesome, and I love Rose Dragon, so I'd be interested in. Seeing if it's a new card, it's not. It's just a typo. It's Garden Rose Maiden, which is still nice. I mean, it's just a $10 card. It, it's come up in weird things like Dragon Link combos it's come up in. So you never know when this card will call, come back into relevancy um, there. So, uh, then we have uh, Train Stuff. I did not know Train Stuff was this, was this expensive. I mean, I believe this guy's what? A two of or a three of in the deck because it's a, a pretty good extender. Uh, $10. Just $10 for him. You've got uh, Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Not as big of a deal. I mean, two, two and a half bucks. Not the craziest thing, but it could go down, you know. Nothing, you know, no big deal. $25 for Lieb. And very quickly shoots up over 30. That's crazy. I did not know Lieb was that expensive. Um, and I think, it, I hope it's just a one of the most extra. Because it might be a two of though, in case like the first one gets outed, sent or whatever, uh, sent, you know, sent to the graveyard. So. Wow, that's crazy, but that's really nice because, again, it's trains. Trains are no meta threat. Trains, I mean, at most in some formats is like a cool going second rogue deck. Uh, but it's never seen like competitive relevancy like that, I don't think. So, whew, crazy. This card's so expensive. Hopefully this will help people who want to play it on a budget. And urgent schedule. Oh, my God. 19 bucks for urgent schedule. That's crazy. So much of this is crazy. So hopefully these reprints will, will bring down, um, you know, trains for those people because this is no joke. That's expensive, man. Um, and I believe the last cards we have here are some Luna Light cards. Luna Light Fusion, not that big of a deal. It only sits around two to three bucks, um, so it's not that big a deal. Hopefully it'll go down to like a dollar or something with the reprint. That'd be nice. And then Serenade Dance. I did look up Serenade Dance because I was like, I remember when this card was like fifteen bucks because Luna Light was like a legit meta contender. Um, but it's only like one, two bucks now. But this may still be a nice reprint just to have if they ever decide to unban Tiger or maybe some people figure out how to break Luna Lights with like another engine or something. Um, and like Serenade Dance is a big piece of that. And maybe that like skyrockets in price again. Um, so it'd be nice just to have that reprint just in case that happens uh, for those people who want to play on a budget. Um, and then other than that, there's a bunch of reprints that are not that important, and there's actually two new cards that are getting imported here that the OCG have, has had, but uh, we haven't had imported here. One of which is a new Galaxy card. It's called Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. 
Um, if you control a Galaxy Eyes monster, it has to be Galaxy Eyes, not just Galaxy. You can special summon it from hand in defense mode. If it's, that, uh, if it's attached from an Exeed monster to activate that effect, you can take a Galaxy Eyes photo, Photon Dragon from hand or deck, summon it, or attach it as material to that monster. Um, then if you activated this effect during the battle phase, double the attack of all number Exeed monsters you control. Okay, so a lot going on. I think the coolest part is just like, he sums himself really easily, make a rank 8, and he's going to get you your Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon straight out of the deck. So that's actually a pretty cool extender, in my opinion, in the battle phase even. And it could even help you put in a ton of extra damage on top of that. So pretty cool card. I'm not complaining. I think it's pretty cool. Um, we've already seen it before. I'm just reminding you, though. We also have Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Ooh. Uh, if it's special summoned, you can add a Ritual Spell or Polymerization from deck to hand. During your end phase, you can add one level 8 or higher dragon monster from your deck to the hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard. All level 8 or higher dragon monsters you control gain 1,000 attack. And you can only use each effect of his once per turn and can only activate them while Blue Eyes White Dragon is on your field or in the graveyard. <laughs> okay, so kind of a cool card. Does a lot of different things. Technically, it's, you know, it's pretty cool for like chaos builds, right? Because you just search like um, the, uh, the ritual spell. Um, I guess you could also search the, the poly, but I don't think Blue Eyes is that good with fusion stuff, but whatever. End phase just gets you like a, uh, any level 8 dragon. It's kind of cool. Just any level 8 dragon. That's pretty nice. And uh, also just the fact that you can uh, banish this card to gain a thousand attack is also kind of a bonus to help you go for game and stuff. It all requires you to have Blue Eyes White Dragon on field or engrave, but in a Blue Eyes deck that doesn't seem like the craziest thing. The only thing with this card is it doesn't summon itself, which would be nice, but that's the only thing it's really missing um, for being like actually a pretty cool card. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of cool stuff here. The full set reveal. I think it's nice. I mean, I have a couple cards I have my eye on, I think. Uh, I'll be looking at some Harpy, Harpy stuff that I don't have, like Oracle and stuff that'll be nice to pick up. I do want a Photon Orbital as well. That was a card I've been looking at for a while just for you, uh, uh, for ABCs. Um, so that'll be nice to grab. Also, Serenade Dance. There's a nice couple cards in here that I definitely am like, mmm, nice. I'm going to scoop some of these after these reprints drop the price. Definitely. So hopefully this helped you out as well. Hopefully um, a bunch of stuff you want as well is going to be much cheaper now with the reprints. Let me know in the comment section down below what you're most excited for out of this set, um, whether it's the two new cards, whether it's a specific reprint that you hadn't gotten for so long because it's been so expensive, like a lot of these legendary duelist sets tend to get. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news as it drops. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.